Yugoslavia. And welcome to Real Talk. Wanted to welcome our guests today. We have Hannibal Chancellor and we have Ann Juan Glover. You might have seen around town in a few different TV shows here and there. He's with us here to talk today, and they're here with us to talk today about transitions. I want to talk about your project and uh, everything. So, first of all, welcome and thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks for having, having us. Yeah, definitely. So, tell me a little bit about transitions. What What's this web series? Uh, and and Tell me about what you're hoping to do with the future with it. Well, Transitions is a combination of stories within a story. Okay. And it's inspired by true stories. Um, basically, we wanted to tell the, the untold stories of Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And um, so we developed the web series, and we also have a TV series that we're developing as well. That's great. And uh, you're the lead character? Adonis. Adonis, okay. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you relate to that character of Donis? Oh uh, man, um, when I got the script from Han, yeah, um, I fell in love with it because it's like this guy is, is, a, is a ruthless guy, uh -huh. but he has also has principle. You know what I mean? Family values, and uh, basically what any young entrepreneur is trying to do with his city or what he's trying to do is accomplish money and power and respect in all different genres and all different cities and states. You know what I mean? So this this guy Don is is a character to follow throughout the series and um he take you on a ride, take <laughs> you on the edge, he got an edge, he push with him, he can get fly, he can throw his all black on, he can mingle with any crowd. Yeah. So it's an amazing series, man. So you know Adonis is a guy you don't want to watch <laughs> You never know what's gonna happen with him though. And you were mentioning this is uh, you know stories about DC that need to be told. Yeah. Tell me um, first what you mean by that. What stories are we talking about? And also why is it important that we that we tell these stories about DC? Well, um, first of all, it's uh, a lot of street legends. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, back in the seventies, eighties. Uh, you know, places like New York and LA always get the chance to to tell their stories. Now, you know, we're going to tell ours. I mean, there's a few. Um, there's a few um, guys, you know, back then we just handpicked a few of their stories and incorporated mm -hmm. them to the web series. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to tell these stories because, uh, you know, like I said, it's um, it's important for, you know, it's uh, unpolished diamonds, mm -hmm. pretty much. You know, we, we're, you know, we're uh, we're standing on 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 a, um, a wealth of stories here, yeah. and we just want to have the opportunity to tell our stories. You know. And, and just going beyond that, too, uh, from your perspective, how important is it that, um, you know, you take those stories and, and you take DC, I guess, as even a character in a, in a story, mm -hmm. uh, a character itself. How, is, how important is it that filmmakers and people who are, who are making films right now um, focus on making th those films in DC and focus on DC as, as a place where you can do that sort of thing? Um, I think it's a great situation a great place to uh, start doing films um, as we know that you know the DC film office is um, opening up to Hollywood mm -hmm. and you know so now Hollywood's going to be coming here a lot you know the tax breaks you know the tax incentives so um, I think it's very important as the market is growing and it's, Hollywood is expanding you don't have to go to Hollywood to be in Hollywood you know now you can come to DC mm -hmm. and Hollywood is is in DC now as, as well as these other states, you know, so yeah. it's very important. And for you as a guy who's from D.C., yeah. and, uh, you know, you want to, you're looking for acting and, and things like this to, to do in town here, how important is it for you to, A, tell these stories uh, in, in a way that we were just talking about, about the city, and then also being able to do it right here in D.C.? Yeah, it's awesome. I, I'm always a firm believer in, like, doing stuff in our own city and it's so important to tell these stories because we as kids grew up hearing those stories or watching it mm -hmm. or really growing up in the same neighborhoods where these characters were so what these real guys were and we're just bringing the character to life and it's very important that we're shooting film here so they could keep me home i don't have to run to la and new york so much but i won't leave home anyway you know what i mean i just put a lot of stuff on tape and policies and I run out to LA and then I hit the train to go to New York. But it's so special to be able to shoot your own 
and be a part of a strong series like this, such as Transitions. Great, great. And just to change gears a little bit before we uh, end up wrapping up here today, I just want to ask the both of you um, uh, about your inspiration. What brought you to become a, a filmmaker and an interest you have right now? I know you started your career in music and you've evolved into, into where you are right now, but for the both of you, I'll start with you. Where, where did you get your inspiration from? Where did you, what set you off on the path that you're, that you're on right now? Um, pretty much... Um Pretty much, this all started from a music video, mm -hmm. and uh, we wanted the music video to feel pretty much like the wire, the mm -hmm. DC wire. So we um, brought this guy here on, and one, and it did so well. We said, no, we just can't trash this. We need to go further with this project. It just it mm -hmm. looks good. It makes sense, and um, so we developed it further along. And um, so now here we are. We have transitions. Yeah, Foz with me. Um, it, it started as a young age, mm. you know, in um, school with um, stage plays and me and my band with the buckets and the whole nine. And I always was in the television. Mm -hmm. Like I like old films, Dola Mike, watching Sidney Poitier, Bill Cosby, all them older cats. And I just fell in love with film and I always used to be like, I'm going to be on TV one day. And Good Times was one of my favorite shows as a kid. You know, and I always was like, I'm going to be inside. Like, my grandmother used to be like this. He's sitting too close to the TV. And they'd be like this. Okay, <laughs> move that boy in front of the TV like this. Let him stay right there. He might be inside the damn TV one day. You know what I mean? So, you know, I always was a real big fan of television since a kid. And um, just to finally be able to be on screen, it's just like I'm just a, this still this regular kid. Mm -hmm. I don't act like I'm this superstar or nothing you can talk to me, I'm just regular, but it's just a, it's a blessing to be able to show your talent on screen and to get with a guy like Hannibal and just to be able to bring those yeah. characters to life, man, and be able to say I'm from Washington, D.C., and we're, we're shooting good product, not just getting out there, just playing with a camera. We're actually shooting great, great film. That's awesome, yeah. yeah. And just one last thing, real quick, before we uh, have to go today. You know, somebody's interested in this. They hear you talking today about transitions. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're interested in checking it out. What is it um, that you would tell somebody out there that they're uh, that they're going to get out of it if they go and they spend the time to in, you know invest the time in watching transitions? What is it that they're they're going to see and what maybe will they relate to? They're going to see an experience. You know, it's something that yeah. is relatable. You know, there's a lot of programs out here now that. Um, most people can't relate to, and this is everyday life mm -hmm. that um, the average Joe can look at it and pick a character out of it and say, wow, that's me, mm -hmm. or wow, I know somebody like that in that same circumstance. You know, that's, that's what they're going to get out of it is an experience. That's great. Yeah. And I, well, I, I just like the way he just brought the whole city together and yeah. he's just showing all of the super talent that we have around, like from each group, each neighborhood, He's giving young actors a chance to show their talent because it's hard in Hollywood. Mm. You can be in Hollywood for a million years and getting a bunch of headshots and stuff together, go out hard. I know guys in Hollywood right now that are still busting tables, can't get a gig. Yeah. So I just love what we're doing as far as with the transition situation. He's showing the young youth in D.C. that you can be a star and just shoot for your dreams. That's great. Thanks so much, guys. Really appreciate you taking the time Thanks to talk to us today. Awesome. This has been Real Talk. We'll talk to you next time.